I have here a few pens from the archive of the company online. These models has online kindly lent me for this review. Because I thought a look at these models is quite interesting. Maybe you'll do the same. And maybe you will find a model that you would find quite good. And would like to see it in the current range. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Let's start with the flip. The flip is a ballpoint pen that comes in several colors, including a soft finish. What is striking about this relatively short ballpoint pen are the two openings through which the refill is visible. The pen has a spring-loaded clip that can also be used by pressing on the end. The first question is how the ballpoint pen can be used. Pressing on the refill does nothing. You also can't turn it anywhere. Effectively, you push the refill forward and press it in slightly. Sounds complicated, but it's absolutely simple. Next, we have the Dreamline. This is a fountain pen that comes in several different colors. But here it is in the plain version. A large silver cap with recessed rings. And a black barrel. The finial with a sort of blunt point. When you pull off the cap, you can see the grip section that goes right into the barrel and the intendations to keep your fingers from slipping. The fountain pen is too short in the hand to sit well in it. With the cap posted, however, it reaches a good usable length. Next up, the Pearl Emotions. It has more than a few similarities. Here the cap is set with Mother of Pearl. And thus, each piece is also unique. And gives a different picture each time, depending on the incidence of light. The rest of the construction is like the Dreamline, only here with a silvered colored barrel. Here is a direct comparison of the two pens. Again, understandably, the fountain pen is not really effective in the hand, but it is practical for short notes. 
And with a cap posted, the Perl Emotions is just as usable as a Dreamline, even for long texts. Let's move on to the RL2 calligraphy. This font pen is eye-catching, not only because of the color, also the shape, with a much thicker cap and slim tapered barrel. The exterior is brushed and the font pen is made of aluminium. Finial is flat. The cap is screwed. The grip section, which is not very long, appears underneath. This is not very long for the fingers. But first let's take a quick look at the surface in close-up, namely at the top where the online logo is attached. The short grip section does not interfere in use. The grip section is not long, but long enough. Despite everything, the found pen still feels good in the hand and is comfortable. With the cap on the back, the weight distribution is not optimal. But the cap lies, at least in my hand, on the hand and so it is not a problem. Now we have the eye catching all to speed. Here we have recessed grooves that cover the entire fountain pen. It almost looks like cooling fits. At the finial, we again have a small sort of point. These grooves become less deep towards the center of the pen. Also noticeably is a completely uniform diameter along the entire length of the pen. On the clip, we have a couple of small squares stamped in, the size of which gets smaller towards the tip. The pen feels good in the hand, both in terms of length and weight. However, the cap logically does not fit on the barrel end. Last but not least, the RL2 Mini. A small phone pen with points on both ends. I 
Under the clip-on cap, we have a grip section with ridges. This should make the pen feel good in the hand, despite the small metal grip section. Of course, this pen doesn't sit well in the hand like this either. It can only be used for short notes. But with the cap posted, it is quite usable, also for longer texts. But let's take a look at the pens in comparison. Once in direct comparison to each other, so you can see the difference in size. The Al2 Mini is a little larger than the Dreamline and Pearl Emotion. The Al2 Calligraphy is the longest pen here, even when open and with a cap posted. But let's also take a look at the pens in a small selection of current fountain pens from online. And last but not least, also once in comparison to other pants. This may give you a better overview for some. But what do you think about this little insight into the online archive? Do you find something like this interesting? To see old models or designs? And of course especially, what do you think of these models? Is there a pen here that you would like to have? Thank you very much for watching. And next will be a review of the Diplomat Fountain Pen in the last comparison. So be curious. See you next time.